Welcome to Grenadiersville. This is Steve's Grenadier. It's a Platinum Plus package, which is one step beyond our top of the three tiers. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look around it. First things first, shout out to your Grenadier owners. You can't half travel, you're coming from all over the place. And we get sort of calls from all over the world as well for our systems, which is just fantastic news, so thank you. It's lovely and quiet here this evening because I've stuck behind. This is the, the night before the day we sort of go away for Christmas. So this is the, uh, the last car of the year. Anyway, this is, as I've said, Steve's Grenadier. There's absolutely nothing to show you in the boot, and that's because in this one, we've put a custom subwoofer box underneath the rear bench. Now, I know pretty much all of you are, are, are sort of itching for that spec because we get it requested all the time, but there's only a select few of these cars that we can do it to. If you've got twin batteries, if you've got fuse boxes in that side, if you've got anything other than the factory cubby area, in the rear driver's side, sort of passenger seat. Um, you won't be able to do this without extensive modification, so uh, without relocating factory things. And to be fair, it's not really something we want to get into. We don't want to be moving fuse boxes and stuff on a on a brand new sort of OEM system like this. So if, you, if you're one of the lucky ones that has that sort of carby area, we can go for a custom box. Let's take a look around this car because it's got a number of touches um, we've discussed with Steve and throughout this project uh, you know quite a lot and there's plenty of little things this is what adds the plus to our sort of platinum we have silver gold platinum levels which you can email about we'll give them to you there's no issue at all but you can always extend upon them systems as well we can go as far as you would like to go so uh, this one and the one behind it are both platinum plus systems but they're both different so uh, yeah we can sort of work with you and spec out what's your sort of dream system really in this sort of car and they upgrade really well let's take a look so this is the first one that we've done where we have installed a subwoofer in this OEM location. This is around about 0.8 of a cubic foot. That's an eight inch Morel driver. You're not really getting anything bigger in there and having it effective. You can put a 10 in there, you can put a 12 in there if you want, but you're gonna have far less box space and you'll have far less output. Underneath the seats, our standard sort of amp installation, although this is a twin amp setup. So this is the Forza M12.14 here, and then on the other side is the F1D, which runs the subwoofer, because of course, if you go for that type of subwoofer, that's a passive driver, so it needs an amplifier. Inside the center console, we have the DRC AC, the new one, so you can do master volume and you can do subwoofer volume control, primarily subwoofer control in this, although the volume control is a little bit, it's notchy, there's only 12 steps uh, and they're large steps, so we can narrow that down with the DRC AC if you would like. If not, we can set it up right in the middle of those 12 steps and it can work well. You'll notice as well, this is also the first one that we've retained that passenger handle. Now you can do that, there's no extra charge. Um, we can keep that handle in place. It just means you have to raise the tweeter. On this side, it sits the tweeter halfway up the pillar, as you can see. On the left-hand side, it's a little less obvious because 
of the handle. But yeah, that's there. Not a bad location at all, really. You know, it, it, you know, we, we tend to put them down at the bottom to make them a little more discreet. I don't think they're any more or less discreet there, really. So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. They've come out really well. Stage is quite high. You know, of course, in, in the doors, we've got the Morel Elate Carbon mid-bass as well. They're the Morel Elate tweeters as well. So this is a really nice front end in this one. Yeah, and of course, we've got, you know, the Smart Track S5i mob in there as well. So this one's well protected. We've got little things like USB charger in the left-hand side. He's also running uh, an Android Auto box in the center console. So we've had to get him a couple of new cables because the DRC-AC is... Uh, Although it's just a knob and it doesn't have a screen, it's quite a large knob, calm down. Uh, so uh, his right angle cable wouldn't work, so we've had to change that out. Um, loads of little touches, but like I say, this one's the first one we've done at the platinum level. God, it sounds good as well. I get jealous of these guys driving home for this, these sort of periods of time. I live seven miles away. I'm one length of a decent track away from my house, so I don't really get to listen that often, so yeah. I bet they have a good time on their way home. Brilliant. Of course, in this as well, we've got all of our standard uh, 3D printed stuff. So we've got the 3D printed amp mount in the driver's side. The passenger side's different, so that has to fix to the deck. We've got our 3D printed uh, fuse holders and things like that that are in there, which all just aid in the sort of OEM-ness of, uh, of the installation itself, which keeps everything tidy. Sitting in there, you wouldn't really know, you wouldn't expect anything different, but the moment you turn it on, you know, you get far more volume, far more impact. You, of course, get far more clarity and definition from the system because the products are just so much better. And the work we do in the DSP to tune it to the way we want it to sound or ultimately to the way that you want it to sound. So um, that adds to the, the, the whole package but everything still works exactly as it was meant to work from factory. You don't change any of the controls whatsoever. Yeah. Anyway, like I say, it's the last one of the year. Hopefully this one's published before Christmas Day. Maybe even Christmas Eve, we'll see. And if it is, happy Christmas. I hope you all have a great time and just have some time off. We're going to have some time off. So, uh, yeah. Cool cars, these. They're starting to take me, Grenadiers, to be fair. All right. Anyway, I'm Kyle's Studio Incast. This is Steve's Grenadier, and it's wicked. Take it easy.